The suspect in all this is Melvin Rowland. He spent the last 14 years basically in and out of prison, but according to Laura McCleskey's mother, she didn't even know that. News for Utah's Marcos Ortiz has been digging into Rowland's past. So, Marcos, what got him into trouble? Well, you could say that he had this uh, this uh, fence, this uh, love for young women and underage girls. Uh, he was released from prison uh, in April, and despite having a girlfriend and a child waiting for him on the outside, he was on the prowl again. You were caught riding a female inmate who had been released in an attempt to manipulate her to get her across the street to wear some pro provocative clothing. And that appeared to be Melvin Rowland's downfall, his love of young women. He was sent to prison in 2004 for raping a 17-year-old, but a plea bargain reduced it to forcible sex abuse. And he used the internet to lure a 13-year-old to have sex with him. It turns out it was an undercover police officer. By distorting my values and, and then living a double life uh, because I wasn't happy with my relationship, um, and by li living a double life, I mean by seeking attention from females at work, online, um, school. Roland had a girlfriend and a child and seemed to not care about his habits of stepping out. I was unfaithful to her when I meet women at work. I just got, I just got into that. Last night, police say Roland shot and killed a young woman, 21-year-old Lauren McCluskey. Police say they'd been dating for about a month but she broke it off after learning of his criminal past. Prior to being released from prison, Roland told the hearing officer that he was a changed man. I was in complete denial of why I came back and I was angry at myself, at the system. Um, but the underlining is I was just ashamed of coming back and, and letting my family down, being a father and husband. But months after he was released from prison, he was back to his old ways. This time, his days of carousing led to the death of a 21-year-old college student. In Salt Lake City, Marcus Ortiz, News for Utah.